All right, guys. Here it is. Uh, the the final boss. It's Galim and Dark One, Darkon, all in one. But you guys didn't see that coming. All right. So the cool thing about this is that they well, not the cool thing. The nice thing about this is that they hit each other. And by what I mean is like whatever attacks are going on, and they have their spirit happens to be in the way, that counts as um. As damage to, towards their character, etc. Oops. Should be good there. Alright. So, all their attacks are generally the same. They do have a faster rate of fire, though. And I'm not going to be able to dodge that in that. Which is beautiful. Because I wanted to take all bajillion damage. Uh, <laughs> just, just a bajillion damage, you know. So, the important difference here is now... Is when... Um, like, Galim or Darkon is down. Either spirit will hit the other spirit so you have to watch out for that like the attack will obviously hit them it's intended to hit them but it will also hit you so this is a the sine cosine attack i don't really know what to call it but uh it's a pain in the ass to dodge i just like to stay in the middle kind of short hop see what happens yeah yeah jackie i need really need to hit this person before they do that attack because that attack is very good but I didn't get the attack hit, so rip. Alright, this is the the best part. Uh, it is that they actually fight each other, and they don't even aim for you. You just have to watch out for the explosions. I like to generally jump off at the very end when they start blowing up because, uh, well, because it, uh... It makes me feel good. No, obviously because you won't get hit and they won't be targeting you. So you basically have some time to get away. And since I have the Celebi uh, spirit, it allows me to recover 5 HP every uh, few seconds. This should bring it to its critical mass point. Well, I got lucky that didn't hit me. Don't worry. This is uh, Galim's new attack, I believe. I uh, It's like t teamed up with uh, Darkon. And it's actually very... Very a uh, pain in the butt to deal with, so I really uh, recommend going for Galim first. That's just my personal preference, but uh, this should knock Galim into his rage form. But I don't know why it's not happening. I gotta watch out for this fireball. It's kind of got the giant explosive range. It actually has a lot of knockback, so it's I was in the perfect spot. Perfect dodge, baby. Alright, Gleam should be dead. And three, two. Of course, we get these. Alright, they're gonna blow. And dead. Okay, now it's just up to Darkon. I can't believe, uh, for some reason, Gleam did not go into rage. So, feels good, man. Feels good. Alright. Like, usually when I, what I mean is when they go into rages. So, uh, if you remember from the Gleam fight or from the Darkon fight, is when you, uh... Is that when you fight the character, when they when their HP is hit down to half... They uh, go to the middle of the screen and have an intangible, like, kind of a rage moment. And um, you just, you know, that means you know they're, like, they're near their death. Like, it should happen with Darkon here. So, uh, is this stun? No, this is the exact moment I was talking about. I did not see it happen with Gleam on me for some reason. Uh, I know it does happen because uh, it happens. All right, nice. I got Darkon right in stun, too. So, that was pretty lucky for me. Uh, yeah, let me just get hit 8,000 times. Did I w I'm dead here. Oh, let's go. My shield barely lived, but... Alright, uh, tear in the wall. Tear in the, in the zone system. Okay. I don't know why I jumped. You should just uh, stay on the ground and basically do that when the attack comes. Uh, now over here. Ooh, beautiful. Uh, if you parry that, you can, uh, 
you know, you'll parry like almost all of them. I don't know why I didn't do anything. Alright, Dark Fighter. So now it's kind of just turns into an, an upgraded Galeem fight. As you can see, he's attacking with his, uh, ow. Please, there. Ah! Alright, please. I don't think I'm gonna get another stun out of this. I cannot move. Please push me out, please. Ooh! Alright, we're good. Very close. Very nice. Right now I need to get any damage I can. Uh, it should be pretty relatively easy. I, I have another stock left, aka another character. So... Yeah, don't do like I did on the, in the first part of the video and pick Mario. Dude, don't, don't do that. Just, just pick heavy hitters and heavy characters. Because you just need characters with survivability in this mode. Oops, I meant to up smash. Alright, uh, it's just gonna be the same move as before. Except it's not sine cosines anymore. Oh, now it is. A lot easier to dodge. Oh, I'm dead here. Reason why I knew? I was just, I'm like, I'm just gonna fall into the slow motion. Oh, dude, that was a bad gamble. Very bad gamble. Alright, two more hits should do it. And he ah, fallen the stun for the last hit. Jab. Alright guys, that's it. Ew. Ugh, they ruined that on. <laughs> oh gosh, this damn song. Alright, uh, as you can see, it looks like 100%. Doesn't change anything. It's just it feels good.
All right, guys, that's it. But is it now? True ending was reached, as you can see. Um, I have to go find that last point twenty three percent. Ooh. See true ending and clear adventure mode. Now I have to find that last spirit. I bet I just walked right by it. Wow, you can just fight them for free uh, after the thing. That's pretty cool. So if you guys are wondering why this cutscene came up out of nowhere, it's because when I said I'm going to figure out what's wrong with the 99.67%, it, uh, it happened when I went back in the game and I, you, uh, the, the path splits because Darkon and Galim are still there. So you can choose who you want to fight. And then they surround the world. And you see the world was covered in light. That's what happens with that ending. You see? And then the percentage went up a little bit. So now, if I, um, when I come back into here, that was the ending with, you know, Gleam. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll be giving you guys the cutscene. This is the middle from where I fought. This is how the game really ends, you see? Or you don't have to do that option. And it goes back. That's where the extra percentile I got was from. So what you need to do now is I need to fight Galim. And then I'll see you guys for the next cutscene. But you'll get the reverse ending of what just happened. Alright guys, and this is what's going to happen when you defeat Galeem only. This is that ending. Uh, and it was dark. Damn. And there you guys go. There's 100. And you're allowed to go to a new game plus for it. You cannot do that in any other mode. But that was it. That's everything, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching all the videos and seeing how to get everything and all that. I, uh, you know, I really enjoyed it. I think this mode was awesome. And I had a lot of fun doing it. There you go, winning all battles. That's what you get. Alright, guys. Uh, take care, and everyone have a great one. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.